I work in beauty and to make sure that everybody's welcome to my chair and feel quite relaxed in the home. Uh, learning their names well is essential. It was a challenge at the beginning. I don't like to say actually difficult, it was a challenge, but then it's quite pleasant because once somebody, you know, with the most sometimes difficult name for some other cultures, for instance, you know, we see a lot of American friends that I have, they, they can't pronounce Irish names at all. It's quite, it's, it's a nice challenge. It's quite rewarding somehow to know, to be able to actually recognize those names and engage with them. It was difficult learning Irish names at the, you know, first, like the, the very beginning, but then it was um, a process I connected with the background of those names. My name is Saulo Ogiroin. My name is Anderson Ganguilia. My name is Jess Magicodemi. My name is Jauma Vidanas Camo. Enya Sanandom. Is Misha Sheena de Canali. Is Misha Natalia Ilva. Ishmael Claxton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know when I go anywhere new, if there's like a roll call or something, I know when they've got to me because it's like, l l l and I'm like, yeah, that's Leon, yeah. Um, but I think at this stage of my life, er, you know, everyone kind of knows my name or they're used to it, so I don't get too many reactions. I think the funniest reaction I've gotten to my name was when people think it's Xena, as in Xena Princess Warrior. Um, but most of the time, I think people think that it's like the first half of the name Sinead. So they say, oh, Sinead, which obviously translates as this is, as opposed to <laughs> Sheena. So um, I think those are probably the the usual suspects anyway. <laughs> One of the funniest ones is uh, when I'm in a pub and um, people have had a few drinks already and they ask me, so what's your name? And I'm like, um, Jauma, and they answered me, Telma. And I'm like, oh no, Telma? Like, I'm Louise actually, so I made the joke and then they cop on. <laughs> Couple of Lino Hen, a solar force me, Vis Lena, the Frulagam, you know, Natalia Freitas of Vion, Agus Vidansman on Hamas, like, you know, Ra Hailer Eg Sula, so Natalia Dansman de Freitas, Manum Gohomalan, solar force me, Vishe Anneacher, Dugahine, Muslena Ara, no Muslena a litru we gart. So Vahik me Kinalin uh, as Aich Urunta, and Omer Yalershin. Um, yeah, we share at, we share at. I'm sure you guys are slain at air and a national. This girl falls me near Vesta Lamishanino. A homalish and Tishkulshin is Yaska. Sometimes I wonder if I'm excusing other people's laziness and not trying to pronounce my name by making it easy for them. I could say seated and see what happens, but usually it just draws more attention to who's the person with the funny sounding surname so I maybe protect myself and yes I own that silence I, I get up and I I will say my name for them my full name is Ishmael Eduardo Claxton it's a mix of like Spanish African and English so it depends on which part of the name people hear being Ishmael growing up in America I very rarely met other Ishmaels so a lot of the times people would like kind of like joke about that itself. So it'd always be kind of weird like as a kid and I'm like, okay. But one thing my mom always told me was that your name is who you are, like it has power behind of it. So it was always very important that people call me by my name. But like growing up people would always be like, your name is kind of hard. Can we like, you know, make an abbreviation or can we call you Ish? Which is funny because that's what started happening when I came to Ireland. But before that it was always like Ishmael, like Ishmael's my name. So I just had a few situa uh, situations growing up or traveling where people were just like, oh, like, could we just change your name? Could we call you Ish or I or something that's easier? It's just like, no, like, my name is Ishmael, you know? And I always make sure to make it poignant, like, what people say by day, but they say it a bit wrong, I'm like, Ishmael, Ishmael, you know? So it's not be just that, like, people, if they can't pronounce it, they just, like, try to change my name, essentially. Ishmael, yeah, um, I think, like, Ishmael, who will shape your own um August we make swine of we um Ladani August Kyapam Shantz you know it's kind of an unusual name and I think it's almost given me an identity through that to be Biogoni Difrul Mar Gnodini Freshin. Uh, so I don't know what came first, like Ma Anam, no Mafarsinta, Ach Tomid's Lakela Skinta. Yeah. I come from Iran. I was born in Tehran and I moved to the States when I was small, so this is the name, my first name that my parents gave me. It's Anahita, and the last name is Askarzadeh. 
Anahito is a very poetic ancient name from the Zoroastrian faith, which is kind of a precursor to Islam. And my last name is Asghar Zodeh, which is, this is the small one, and then Zodeh means son of. So when I went to the States, um, we had a green card for a long time. Um, and then um, when I became a citizen when I was 20, um, as part of the citizenship process in the States, they ask you if you want to change your name. So myself and my brother and my dad, who all had the last name Asghar Zodeh, we thought about it and we just kind of took out some of the letters. And then our names became Asgard, A-S-G-A-R-D. But I think in the process of doing that at the age of 20, if you know anything about the US kind of uh, history with Iran, we had kind of suffered a lot of discrimination and prejudice being Iranians living in the States. So I kind of erased a lot of my own um, kind of identity when I went from Asghar Zade to Asgard. And I also changed my first name, Anahita, to Annie. So. Now I'm Annie Asgard. My name is just such a core part of my identity. I've always had it. I've um, had it for almost 40 years now, so I couldn't imagine being me without having my name. And I suppose it's a very direct connection to my Nigerian roots as well because I wasn't born there and I've never lived there. So without it, the only way of displaying that connection would be for me to go around and tell people all the time that I'm also Nigerian. Um, but my name is, is lovely because it's there, it starts conversations, people ask me about it, other Nigerians recognize it. I like that. People should respect uh, other people's name to maintain a healthy society. It's like the basic uh, principle as a human being, like you listen to your name that your mother, your father gave it to you. And um, I think the make the best to, to pronounce the right. Amnika, Tashid Agwin and Lig, Agasis Fugu Moore, Masa Be Agwin Erhu. Ala Majeko Dumi, Isanam Dum.